Hello everybody, I'm Slash and VC. Welcome back to Cataclysm. Dark days ahead. This is our character, Kanji Gurukawa. What's he got in his hand? Molotov cocktail. <laughs> he was in panic mode. Got a little pain here. Can we take a... I don't know if we want to take an oxycodone for the pain or not. Might, though. Might preempt some of our pain that way. You hear glass breaking. Hmm. Who's about to come through there? Hold on. Ah! The Kevlar zombie found a way around. Oh, 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 no, no, no. He busted through the glass door finally. Okay. I'm gonna light the Molotov cocktail. Uh, your lit Molotov goes out. Okay, well, that's better than it exploding in my <laughs> hand. Where's he going? Coming this way. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't want to block my hallway with fire. Will this hallway catch fire? This should be... Yeah, that's brick wall. Is he coming toward me? No, he's just standing around. Mmm. I just want to make sure this guy isn't blocking my retreat. Um. Hmm. What shall we do here? Oh, no. Nope, he spotted me. Alright, let's light it again. There we go. Let's throw the Molotov cocktail, like, right there. Boom. Okay, the dude is definitely on fire. Oh, he's on fire. Uh, okay, we may have to run around him. Yeah, because he ain't dead yet. So, hold on a second here. Going to run and see if we can get around him. Do not throw me into the fire. He is actually really fast. There we go. I ran him around the fire and uh, he uh, he burned up. Nice. I like that. Hopefully that fire doesn't spread. Um, Alright, I'm going to go into a walk. Let's go. I'm going to uh, turn this. Okay. First things first. We're using the modular headgear a lot. And I want to assign a key for that. We'll assign that to letter A. And we can hit AA, now we're in infra scanning. AA, and the visor's off. That'll be good. What weapon do we want to wield? I'm going to say probably we should be wielding the uh, 5.56 NATO rifle. I'm not sure. Smash that corpse. Okay, we got a little warm going around that area there. But I think everything's going to be okay. The fire spread to this bench. Hopefully it doesn't spread beyond that. I don't know what will happen. Okay, we've got the zombie scientist, but he won't step on the ledge tile. So, we'll ignore him. Okay, zombie security guard, zombie scientist. These are guys that we can take down with our melee weapon. Yep, there's a few zombies here. And I'm making an effort not to make too much noise. Oops. I forgot we have a fire axe now instead of a machete. I like this spot because they can't actually get around wall there to get to me. You know, it's the regular zombies that have been hitting us the most. <laughs> I don't know how or why, but it's a fact. Got all the zombies in here? Okay. Let's stop the bleeding. Wield the axe again, walk, recover our stamina. Go. Smash the corpses and see if they had anything we want. There's a guns and ammo magazine here. What is in the first aid kit box? Looks like medical tape, bandages. Alright, let's see about using... First, we'll take a couple aspirins and 
We have some antiseptic here. We might as well treat everything. I'm just going to use up some of these adhesive bandages. They're very poor, but I don't think there's any reason to use the good ones. Alright, there we go. We're hearing a lot of noise to the south. We should probably go investigate. First, I'm going to take a quick look around the room from here. Okay, just a lot of various stuff. Is that another centrifuge? Wow, this is the place to come. Uh, if you want to find a centrifuge. Mass spectrometer. Fume hoods over the bits of the lab workspace, apparently. Safety glasses and a battery. Because the thing that we're looking for is going to be a so-called workstation. We're here to get workstation data. There we go. Yeah, that's what the nice thing about having keyboard shortcuts. Just turn those uh, glasses on right away. Alright, so we have another clothing closet here. Alright, the room here is lit. Now, this is where we we're hearing all the sounds, I do believe. Okay, that room is lit. Oh good, it's just a regular zombie. <laughs> Alright, and we can take him out. By the way, we can switch to... Um, Brawling while we have this weapon in our hands. Alright, we got any workstations here? We got chronomatophotographers and uh, workbenches and uh, Geiger counters and spectrophotometers. But this is not where we want to be. A hydrogen tank, acrylamide, the usual suspects. Ah, this room has a shower in between. Looks promising. Okay, this room has been destroyed. Flaming eye. <laughs> Spotted. <laughs> An enormous disembodied eyeball the size of a person flying through the air through some unknown agency. Wreathed in unnatural flickering blue flame. It possesses a blazing yellow iris with a slitted pupil like that of a cat and trails a set of flailing black tendrils that as it slowly drifts about. Its unearthly presence fills you with dread at the prospect of falling under its baleful gaze. Fatally dangerous, allegedly. I've seen so many of these dead that I'd really like to just try melee on it. My understanding is that these flaming eyes do status effects on you that can be devastating. Um, so maybe I shouldn't <laughs> attempt to do anything with this flaming eye. Let's... Um, there's a chemistry set and an exacto knife visible from this location. And there's an electron microscope and a chemistry set and a centrifuge and something up here. Some kind of freezer refrigerator combo. In other words, this is not our mission. And therefore, I'm going to leave the flaming eye alone. I doubt it can open doors. Nor is it really going to have to be inclined to, surely. So we'll just leave it alone for now. But it is on my to-do list to melee one of these things. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to eat some yogurt. 
crispy cranberry since it's just there. Looks like Kanji's getting tired, unfortunately. Okay, we've got another wash station leading to another laboratory here. What is that right there? MRI machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, take a peek in. No flaming eyes in this room. CT scanner. Oh, that's a, you know, everything you might need. There's a scanner bed going into the CT. There's a, oh, there's a bed going into the MRI machine. How cool is that? Nice, 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 nice. Probably no reason to explore this room either, but since there's no flaming eye. Uh, yeah, we might as well take this zombie out. Okay, we got an elect uh, advanced electronics book on the zombie and also a post-it note that we've read before. Have we read this book before? I think so, yeah. Can help you craft some various and sundry. I'll keep it on me for a minute, but I don't think we need it. Let's take a peek in this uh, room here and see what we've got. Your basic lab chemicals, it looks like, and uh, some charcoal. Yeah, you know, as it is with these labs, most of this stuff is just... Can I, exa oh, can I examine the MRI machine? I cannot. Okay. Alright. Interesting enough. Uh, here we got more food and water. Let's see what we got. Okay, chocolate covered something, crispy cranberry, energy cola, lemonade. Here we go. At least we won't get hungry and thirsty as we make our way through here. spotted. Okay, the man hack is flying around in the open air out there, apparently. Hmm. Nothing really in that room either. Is any of this a workstation? No, it's not. Uh whole bunch of 380 ACPs here on the floor. Somebody's been shooting their pistol. Another room in here. Does this look like a place where there's going to be workstations? we got fume hoods, broken consoles. Yeah, probably not. Here around the corner. Zombie scientist spotted way off to left. Okay. Fine. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, we've reached the corner of the building at least. Oh, manhack. I'm not really afraid of these. We've killed so many manhacks. Ah. Uh, there, uh, there we go. Uh, I guess uh, we can open the door for the man hack here, or do we even need to go in here? Let's look. More of the same type lab equipment? That's probably no reason. And a man hack out there. Those look like bathrooms. Alright, did we miss anything over here? Um, shaker, incubator... High performance liquid chromo to photographer. Shaker incubator. Melting point apparatus. All the usual suspects. That room looks very similar. Alright, is this, uh, that's very dark and that's very bright. We've got a very abrupt change in lighting there. I can stand here in the dark and kind of assess. So we've got skylights. 
Um, are they standing on the skylights, I guess? I bet they are. Below. Reinforced concrete floor. Yeah. Okay. This all looks the same. This all looks the same. Huh. I don't know, man. I may be on the wrong floor. I just for some reason thought, oh, if I go to the uh, top floor, you know, that's probably where we're going. But that may be wrong. Portal here. There's a portal here. I like how it says there's a portal here, and then it says here. See, that's a portal in. Another portal is here. And this says portal. So there's different kinds of portals here. There's a burned ground point. Those are on the ground floor, I'm sure. I don't see any differentiation. In... Okay, we can look down. Okay, second floor. There's a portal. Or, what is that? Third floor. Second floor here. Two portals. Military corpses. Wait a minute. What's this over here? Someone lost a bug out bag. On the lumber mill roof? <laughs> what? Wow, that's interesting. Okay. And then the ground floor. Three portals on the ground floor. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just lost in a maze right now. Don't want to step out into the light. Not really. Ah. What could be the harm? I'm going to step out into the light. Right. They're all zombie scientists, so it can't be that bad. Now, oh, okay, yeah, this is definitely the roof where they've been doing whatever, breaking man hacks, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's just kill the scientists, I guess. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I'm looking to see if they're going to fall through that skylight or whatever. Oh, they're breaking the skylight. Yeah, breaking the skylights, but they're not falling through. Oh, that's weird. All right, Ninji waits in the dark. Hey, where did they go? Oh, I see. Wait, this is reinforced glass. They can't get across this glass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I was worried about nothing, wasn't I? Got some vending machines here. Probably, I'm going to guess, malfunctioning elevators. Yep, powerless controls. Can't, uh... Can't use either elevator. And also, we can't get out on the roof from here. Or do we need to? So. Okay, I think we need to go down one level then. See what's going on on the next level down. Whoops. Let's get our stamina back. Don't want to be, uh... Don't want to run until our stamina runs out. That's This is the roof roof. Okay. There's no creatures up here. We've reached the highest point. Um, I don't see another staircase down from here. I don't think there's any reason to be up here. We are seeing the other roof across the way from here. Okay. We can see if our map revealed anything as a result of that. Yeah, we climbed pretty high. Ah, oh, look here. What is this? Ah, oh, the island prison is over here, huh? Interesting. I haven't seen that yet. A rural house at the end of that road. Then we've got an offshore prison and the offshore freshwater research station. And we spotted a few islands, and we spotted a lighthouse from here. 
How cool. There's another freshwater research station there. I see. Wow, how cool. Haven't ever been to a lighthouse either. What did we see in this direction? Oh, look here. Jonathan Benson is in a cabin. Man, we can see a long ways from where we are right now. Just spotted a new NPC we didn't know about. That's very cool. Very cool. It's been educational. What do we got here? A cabin in a swamp over there? I don't think we knew about it either. Wow. Okay, great. Well, let's go back down. Okay, these are all bathrooms. We knew about that. Now, what is the difference, I wonder? Yeah, see, that's a, metal, a couple metal doors there. I'm not sure that that's going to take us anywhere we need to go. I'm going to go down a level here. Okay, those are bathrooms. Same layout, basically. Right. Same basic stuff here. I think this is broken. Yeah, rebar cage. Alright, a lot of damage to this area. And smoke, too, for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, if the whole wing is like this. I mean, very likely we've got some kind of smoker zombie on this level here. How's our gas mask? We've got gas cartridge, but... If there's no computers on this level, there's no point. I'm going to go on down to the next level here. Yeah, we've got... Okay, it looks like we did explore this one. Definitely no computer terminals on this level. Uh, can we get across? Nope, that's still sky. Alright, back to the ground level then. I'm going to go... I think we looked... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I knew about that. Blank body there. Uh, you know, I know those guys are not inherently hostile, but I usually try not to get too close to them just in case. Out of curiosity. What are we looking at in these? Lots of samples. Hmm. Wow. Need some chemicals? They got them. Ooh. Grab the jerky. I'll take that. Looks like a whole bunch of samples. Yeah. They ever have finished products in these, I wonder? Laboratory analysis kit. Now, some of this stuff kind of hard to find. You're going to be going into a laboratory and uh, messing around for a while. And, I mean, it's all here. Everything you might want is here. Everything you might need. Tools, raw materials. Okay, let's check out... This is the main building, right? Yeah, we're just now getting to the main building on the ground floor here. Uh-oh. Is that a skitter bot? <laughs> I'd be much better off turning him to my own use. For sure. I went and got my laser rifle. Uh, the benefit is he can't see me at all. I think we should do that, actually. Let's see what we can drop off. We can drop off a book. We could drop the acetylene torch right here in case we need to come back for it. And then uh, bring a laser rifle down here. Turn him to our side. I think that would be smart. 
Let's drop the acetylene torch. And if I brought spare equipment for that, drop off the welding goggles here. I didn't bring another. Okay, that, that'll get some uh, burden off of us. Lab rats doing? Some of them are rather fast, in my opinion. That one, I mean, he really seems to move quick. Okay, the zombie technician's almost dead. Might as well take him down. Tried to pull our weapon. Didn't do it. Here comes the security guard. Hazmat zombie is a re-res, and there's a shocker way down there. Not something we have to worry about right now. Just gonna go grab the uh, thing that we want. Laser rifle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's uh, unsmashed corpses over here. I'd say all their stuff is burnt. Yeah, whatever they had is pretty well burnt. Hello? And, uh, bandages and unburnt books and stuff? Oh, well, that's hard to believe. First aid kit boxes? Unburnt? Wow. That's wild. Um, the uh, laser rifle, oh, it's called the Dazzle rifle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoops. Uh, for that, though, uh, we're going to need the UPS that goes with it. Okay. And then we've got to carry uh, some kind of battery. Let's see. Um, uh, we need to, I think, reload the UPS with a battery. Is that how this works? There we go. Alright. Heavy battery becomes the ammo magazine for the Dazzle Rifle via the magic of universal power supply. Skitterbot close in and see if we can stun him, turn him to our purpose. Once he gets within one tile, our aim will improve radically. Alright, his sensors are scrambled. I'm going to deactivate him. Alright, then I should be able to fly the Skitterbot. Not fit in any pocket. Wield the Skitterbot. Or the dazzle rifle. This guy's probably kind of heavy. Okay. Spotted a slime. I'm just going to uh, activate the skitter bot in this hallway here. There we go. And he's friendly. Yeah. I don't know what weapon to wield right now, so I'm not going to wield anything. Have a look in here. Aha! Now we're getting closer to what we need. Got heavy-duty cables here. 
whole host of broken consoles. Look at this meeting room. And the map making in this game is on point, okay? On freaking point. Black Ops zombie spotted. Okay, now I'm starting to see some foes. That guy, we're taking him out with a rifle. Alright, he's fighting the Skitterbot most likely anyway. So we're just gonna creep around in the dark and play it cool. Six Skitterbots spotted? <laughs> wow! So we'll turn them all to our purpose. Oh my god, look at the war that's going on down here. <laughs> okay, this is the screenshot for our episode, folks. Excuse me while I take a screenshot. This is the thumbnail right here. What are we going to call this one? I mean, this is Skitterbot hell right here. That's, <laughs> that's fabulous. Although, wait a minute now. Plant sap splatter? This is reinforced glass, but if I'm not mistaken, the Skitterbots can actually do their electric attack uh, through the glass. It looks like it. You see how these are all damaged? And the Skitterbots are all fine. Yeah, we need to turn them all to our purpose, don't we? Seven Skitterbots spotted. Oh my god, look at this mess down here. Now somehow the zombie scientists have not been attacked by the Skitterbots yet. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm like shockingly, totally, uh, uh what, a, what the hell am I even doing here? Trying to figure out. I just want to make sure my environmental suit is not in casual mode. This darkness? Okay, it's unseen. Hmm. Wow. Sorry if you can hear me swallowing my terror. I'm just trying to think, like, if all of those skitterbots saw me at one time, how much trouble would I be in? I don't know. Maybe a lot? Wait, is this... Are these consoles working? No, those are broken. Okay, the next question is going to be, if this is reinforced glass all the way down to here, is this a door? And we've got reinforced glass across here, but we don't know where the door is. Okay. All broken consoles all the time. Looking for the door. There. Yeah, there's a door. Frosted glass door right there. It'll let us into the next area. Striking the zombie bio-operator shocks the crack. Um, we've gotten the attention of the scientists, I do believe. Because this area is shady to dark, but not very dark, so I do believe they've seen us. Um, they're just scientists, so I'll get out my fire axe. Oh yeah, we're going to turn all these skitter bots to our advantage. Let's wield the fire axe. This is so insane. Okay, the Skitterbot shocks the zombie scientist. They're already embroiled in Mortal Kombat down there. Uh, the zombie scientist hits the Skitterbot, but is hit by its armor plating. Yeah, as I figured, I don't think the zo uh, zombies can actually do anything about them. Now, I could start disabling them right now. I think that would be smart. Let's wield the Dazzle Rifle. See if we can shoot this Skitterbot. Oh, no, that's our friendly Skitterbot. I don't think we'll ever hit this one at this range. It's worth trying, though. Uh... Hmm... I'm going to 
try to get around here where I can get a shot off. Yeah, here we go. Let's shoot at this one. He's not friendly. I want to get a good aim on him. That's fine, right there. There, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I didn't get a I didn't get a critical on him, so no good. Apparently, we got a scientist up here. Let's switch back to the axe. Go take care of this uh, scientist. Very cool. <coughs> See if I can get any closer without these skitter bots getting on me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that skitter bot got toward me. Okay, wheel down is alright. Which one knows about me? Like this one. That one knows about me. Will they come toward me though? Okay, all the skitter bots have seen me. I just need to get them isolated a little bit here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Except I've got a uh, zombie's attention too. It's okay. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure out how to sort everybody out. Give me at least careful aim on this guy. Okay, his sensors are scrambling. Now, hopefully, we can do this in one turn. Deactivate. Ignore. Ignore. Okay, it took more than one turn, but that's okay. We got one of them deactivated, so we can turn them to our side. Okay, we got more Skitterbot's attention, but we might as well... Oops. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm a little... Uh, Take your time, slash MVC. It's not a race. Uh. There we go. My own danger music is freaking me out. That's what's going on here. Alright, I want to get a precise shot on him. Is he scrambled? No. There, he's scrambled. Okay, deactivate him. Alright. Alright, now, uh, is the other Skitterbot headed toward me? No, he's not. Get a little closer. This is my friendly. Yes. Now, unfortunately, he's gonna get down there and hope I hope he doesn't start attacking the other Skitterbots. They coming for me? They're coming for me. Okay. Get one square away. Okay, he's scrambled. Let's see if we can scramble the other one. Got him. Deactivate that one. There we go. We've got four total of five Skitterbots turned to our uh, side now. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this place over. <laughs> I let them loose like an army. All right, we got another one here. Let's pull him back a little. He's probably going to get an attack off. Let's try it. Got him. Cool. How many? Uh, how much ammo do we have left here? Our um, uh, heavy battery is what we're using here. Heavy battery. No heavy flashlight. UPS. Oh, we barely used any charge from it. Alright, two skitter bots remain. He tried to zap me. And 
than the last one. He's gonna try to zap me, but we've got the environmental suit. Switch to the axe. Oh my, what do we got here? A big slime, a bunch of little slimes. Yep, it's a total mess. So, I want to get my army going here. Uh, oh, in order to do that, we need to be wielding nothing, then we're going to have to uh, wield one of these uh, skitter bots. Okay, then we apply it. Friendly, good. Wield skitter bot. Apply that direction. Skitterbot gives a quick bow and scurries away. <laughs> uh, the caustic soldier zombies launching hails of darts. Okay. There we go. I think that's all of them. Nope, there's one more. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skitter bots. Smash this corpse. I don't know what's gonna happen with these slimes, so all I can do is open the door and find out. Are they gonna divide? The slime hits the skitter bot but is stopped. Unsuccessfully attempts to shock the slime. I don't know what the dividing rules are for these slimes and stuff. I don't wield the axe. Come on, skitter bots. I'm gonna open both of these doors. Okay, I can kill the slimes quite easily. I'm gonna open all the doors. Now we're up against, like, these bigger, or that's a slime, and that's a regular size slime. Okay, I'm covered in a thick goo. Alright, what does that do? I'm slimed. It decreases my speed considerably. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That that reduces our speed considerably. Ah, let's get let's get them done, though. Let's just get them done. Okay, we did get hit. All right. Now, unfortunately, the skitter bots seem to be distracted by all this down here. I want to lead them through. Oh, look. Shocker zombie over here, too. Okay. All right, we've got books and... Snacks. Looks like the cafeteria is over here. Aha! Central staircase here. Uh, oh, wait. What did I see down here? Was that a bl dead blank body? Yeah. Corpse of a blank body. Sure. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay, wait, I have a way to get let my skitter bots through, I think. Just notice these doors here. Okay. Just gonna let them through? No, this is just bathrooms. One giant bathroom. Oh, oh man! Disappointed by my inability to herd these skitter bots, and you know what I should have done? And maybe I still can. Can I deactivate them? Okay, yeah, I can. Sure can. Okay, great. Then instead of wielding the fire axe, let's wield the skitter bot again. And we ought to be able to put him on the other side of this door. Close that. Close that door. Then apply him in that direction. There we go. Is he still friendly? Yes. Okay, so this is it. That's how we'll move him from one side to the other. 
Ah, uh, now he's glued to that glass. Okay, hold on. Let's figure out where we're gonna carry our army, huh? So what we can do is deactivate all of them and drag them to wherever. We're gonna have to kill this zombie bio operator. That or we lead the enemies to the skitterbots, one or the other. Let's wield our uh, rifle. Okay. Took a good hit on the shocker zombie. Good hit on the... Okay, here comes the zombie bio operator. Easy peasy. Checkable anti venom. Patient badge. Right, another slime. So we got a kind of scientist coming toward us. We've got zombie security guards down here. I don't want to run out of stamina. Break the grab. Break the grab. Okay, we're about out of stamina now. How's it looking? Oh, it's not looking good. Okay, this is not the time to run out of stamina. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna retreat back toward my slimes. Leave the door open. Uh, slimes, help me. I mean, uh, skitterbots. Ooh. Let me get over here where I can... Oh, yeah. All right, let's wait it out. Okay, the bleeding has stopped. Zombie security guard spotted. He's on the other side of that glass. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Been, uh, this has been interesting. Okay, we're getting back into it here. How are we doing? Okay, the uh, uh, this one friendly skitterbot's doing his job, keeping everybody distracted. Very much appreciate that. You know, it may be time to eat an oxycodone just to make sure, because we're starting to take some, get some pain. I'll go ahead and eat one. Let's take an oxycodone. There we go. Now, if we get into more pain uh, in a minute, and are we done being slimed? Let's look. We've got slow down. The heat slows you down. Hmm. Heat slow down, 4%. Uh, that's on our legs. We're damp because we've been sweating. We're under the influence of depressants. <laughs> uh, so we got all kind of slowdowns that have brought us down to a speed of 106%. Waiting to see if he'll step forward. Why isn't he moving forward? Zombie security guard. Let's just take him down. Uh oh. Okay, grappler zombie spotted. Let's run back. Whew. Okay, I don't mind if he tries to grapple me and. Oh, he, he went for the grab. 
I don't want to get grappled into a group. Step forward. There, that's fine. There we go. Let's turn on our night vision and have a look. We've got another zombie and what? Okay, I've got a couple of skitterbots down here doing the work. Working over a couple of zombies. Mainly we need to get down here and get rid of these slimes. Okay, let's take out the uh, zombie scientist. Aha! New journal, Herrera. Let's move the journal off that body. Uh, let's unload the pants. How about that? There we go. Got the journal. Oof. Okay. Come on, skitterbots. Okay, these slimes here. Let's see if I can get rid of these. What the hell was that? I hit this slime. I hit this slime in a handheld game system and some marijuana came out of it. <laughs> uh, that slime dropped a book. Okay, I've never seen the slimes drop objects before. That's um, disgusting and awesome. Okay, we're out of stamina again, so let's uh, back off. Catch my breath. Back into the mouth of madness. Really need to transport this getter box, but let's go ahead and take care of this one's down here first. Alright, what do we got left over here? We need to smash the bodies. Yeah, we got... I don't think that blank body is going to give me any problems. There we go. Alright, is this doorway going to let us get rid of these guys? I really need the doorway that gives me access to this so I can at least just shut off the danger music. Let's go smash these bodies. Uh, I'm going to do a walk. Operator. Uh, uh, uh. Remington Wingmaster. Uh, industrial IP card. Ah, AR fifteen. And actually, let's unload that. There we go. Gives us some more ammunition to work with. We're actually gaining ammunition in this area. That's nice to see. Hacksaw. Prescription stimulant. Let's grab it. I don't usually take stimulants, but you know what? I might make an exception. Fantastic. Now, it's time to transport the rest of my skitterbots, I do believe. We can just totally quiet the threats. These guys are doing no good down here. Do we see any damage being done? No, not really. Deactivate him. Um. have to get them dragged all the way over here and drag him drag this body along with me oh no I don't want to do that either <laughs> that takes too long let's get the man hacks or the uh, skitter bots out of there okay. keep dragging them you know they weren't as useful as I'd hoped yet at least I'm going to quit dragging them right there. We'll give us somewhere to activate them from. 
Ah, I see. So these are elevators. Powerless controls, so we can't get there. What, what are these guys out in the field or something? Apparently. From the east and above, you hear an alarm go off. Okay. Yeah, we got more bad guys outside. I guess that's better than them being inside, but it's annoying I can't get to them. So we may bring the skitterbots upstairs. Just one thing I was curious about is whether the other wing of this research facility is any different. Like if one wing is computer related and the other wing is chemical. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find these workstations. I guess we could peek up the central staircase and see what's going on. Now, uh, oh, oh, oh. Aha! That guy came in this door right here. Is he a zombie? He's a zombie. And the slimes are getting in from somewhere. I'll bet you this door right here. Yeah, look here. Blank bodies outside. We can open that up and let our Skitterbot army get in on some of this action here, it looks like. All right, yeah, cool. Oh, also, I'm seeing some creatures this way, aren't I? What have I got here? Okay, the usual suspects. That big of a deal. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. We need to, what, bring those guys toward me? I don't know if Skitterbots can go up and down stairs. Hello? Would any of you like to come in here and meet my Skitterbot army? Caustic Soldier Zombie launches a hail of corrosive darts. Ah, uh, yeah. The slime hits your arm, you block damage, the shot reflects off the slime's dense jelly mass. Okay, we got the attention of the caustic zombie now. He launches a hail of corrosive darts. And another hail of corrosive darts. They reflected off the torso. Alright, let's get our gun out. Can't quite see him yet. Oh hell, he disappeared. Well, you know, one one Molotov would take care of that whole group, so I wouldn't have to think about it anymore, wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would. Oh god, there's two of those caustic soldiers over there. Blank body's headed outside. Looks like he'll probably engage with all those enemies over there. Or will he? Still can't uh, aim at the caustic soldier. Come around that corner, you coward. No. Nope. Alright. Stop the bleeding. That's it. I I'm bringing my skitter bots outside to kill them all. Uh, oh, looks like we're out of time for this episode. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, or at least half as much. See you in the next one. In the meantime, take care of your damn selves. <laughs>